Welcome back. Today I'm sharing a tour of my desktop workspace. I'm Emily and you've found Emily's Paper Caper where we're all about scrapping our stash and getting some pages done. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit the subscribe button and that bell icon so you won't miss any ideas. So I've been working very hard in my scrap room during the pandemic and the stay at home period of time. I've gone through a lot of things in my scrapbook room. I'm not quite ready to share the entire room with you, but I thought it would be fun to do a desktop tour. So I added a mat. It is a quilting cutting mat. I was starting to damage the countertop that's on this desk and I wanted to kind of prevent further damage, so I've added that. I always use my Fiskars 12 inch trimmer and I'm a big fan of the ATG gun. This year I'm trying to use a stash of borders and they're all in this box. I'm also trying to use a stash of washi. I have a lot of washi that's not here. It's actually a huge box of washi elsewhere, but I'm trying to use this one first. And then I've got this container full of miscellaneous embellishments. That's another goal for this year. So I've been pulling a lot of photo corners and brads and buttons from this box as I'm working on my pages. This little tiny basket has a number of essentials in it that I find I grab often. A corner rounder, glue dots, these are large and then tiny. This was just an extra box of photo mounts that I will eventually use them up. So if they're here in this basket, I may use them. This is tape that's great for making pockets. And then I've got a sander and a, a little cutting mat here. And then I have a lot of baker's twine. And so I try to use the same baker's twine to maybe get a dent in my stash. So this is the baker's twine that I'm using right now. And then there's also some foam mounting squares in here. And so that's an auxiliary adhesive basket. Then I have this really cool turnstile and I've just got my most used items. These are a bunch of like, they have transfers on them, like uh, rub-ons that you just apply as a pen. And a friend gave me these a number of years ago. And I thought if I'm ever gonna use them up, they're gonna have to be right here handy. So I've put them all in, in this basket. Right now I have one embossing paste. It happens to be this one, so that stays handy. And then I have a number of like stickles and other embellishments. This is liquid pearls. This is a glitter liner. It's almost gone, so I've got that upside down. I've got a few different Nouveau drops. I'm a big fan of stickles and I have lots, but I'm trying to focus on just using blue and gold for now. I've got some, these are fingernail clippers, but I use them to clip off the backs of buttons. Um, and sometimes there'll be a wire or something that I cut. Then I've got a lot of liquid adhesives. This is almost gone, so I'm trying to use it up. Same for this liquid adhesive. And just, there's a number of adhesives uh, different places in my stash. and. I've just tried to put a few out and use them up. This is another one uh, nice for small detailed items and there's a little bit of glue left in that. Then I've got some glue sticks. So I hate to throw anything out and I'm trying to say, hey, use these up, you know, don't go getting something else out. Use what you have here. There's several erasers in here, some chapstick, some cat size for inking on edges and that's the first tier. The second tier is pens and journaling pens and pencils. Commonly used tools like paper piercer, um, a 
X-Acto knife with a lid. And uh, this is the cutter for Cuddlebug. There's a paintbrush in there, probably doesn't really belong in there. And the nail file. And then a couple of hole punches. This is the one I use the most. It's just a standard hole punch. And then this one, I, this other hole punch, I think, has a flower. Let's see. Yeah, it's a flower. You can kind of see it in there if you look closely. So those are nice. And then in the center, I just have a number of scissors, uh, regular scissors, and then pattern edge scissors. And usually if I want a little something dimensional, I just grab for one of those patterns and um, add up an edge. So I switch those out every once in a while because I have a lot of different uh, decorative edge scissors. So that's that's the turnstile. Always need some water if you're doing some distress inks. Um, this is a catch-all. It's just a little plate and I can put extra punches or just extra embellishments that happen to be out on my desk so they're all in one place and I'll either use those first or eventually they'll go back to their homes. Then working my way across the desktop, I've got an acrylic block. These are binders that I keep my stickers in and I find that when I'm embellishing a page, I'll just go through these binders and find a sticker that works for me. Especially if I'm making a card, I like to put stickers on the outside of the envelope. So these three binders are just full of stickers and I find that I use my stickers more if they're in there. And then these are some miscellaneous idea books and things. To top it off, I've always got my drink, my Ot light, and I have an old coffee can that I use for trash that's not meant. It's just, it's really trash. <laughs> so I save every scrap, I put it in a scrap bin, and if it's absolutely not usable or it's actually trash, it goes in there. So thanks for taking my desktop tour. I hope this Gave you some inspiration and ideas for how you work in your space. I would love to hear about your space down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Keep on scrapping that stash.